Wise Miscellaneous Quick Tips Logic Pro Logic Pro, Logic Pro. What's up? This is G5 back at it again with another G5's miscellaneous quick tip video. In this quick tip video, I'm going to talk to you guys about using the note repeater and Logic Pro X and an issue that I was having when I played my MIDI or recorded my MIDI. It wasn't being played back as I recorded. If this is your issue, then you come to the right place. Let me show you what I did to correct this. So here is a music melody beat, uh, one of my creations that I have, and I use the MIDI note repeater here on these three sections right here. So what I'm gonna do is play the music so that you hear where I used it, and then I'm gonna explain a little bit more about the note repeater and the issue that I was having, all right? So here we go. Okay, so, so what is the note repeater, you may ask? Well, the note repeater allows you to play back music notes, uh, MIDI notes at a really fast speed that you normally wouldn't be able to play back by yourself. So here it is. So I'm going to select this track right here, right here. And what you want to do is click here. Now, if you don't see these options, what you need to do is click on this drop down arrow and it'll give you more options. One of those options, one of those options will be the uh, note repeat. So right now, if I press on a note, you just hear it like that. Now, even if I hold down the button, it's just, or the key on the keyboard, it's just one. But if you hold this down or click that, you'll get this pop-up window that opens. Click that drop down arrow. Now, I hold it and it'll play those MIDI notes really fast. Now I have my minimum set to 1 16th note and maximum to 1 64th. Think of this as speed. So it's gonna go at least this speed and at most this speed. How is it triggered? I have it set up triggered by the modulation wheel. You can choose pitch, bend, or pressure. And also this is the rate at which it's being triggered currently. So for example, if I hold down this key, this note, and pay attention to uh, this right here, you'll see this change, 1 16th. 132nd dotted, 132nd, 164 dotted, 164. Okay. So let's say, for example, I want to record another section with some MIDI. And <clears throat> let's say I'm going to record right here. So here we go. Okay. So now what my issue was is that it wasn't playing back how I record it. Why? Because I had this quantized to like 1 16th, all right? Or my track was quantized to 1 16th. So if you notice, if I have that quantized, you see how that looks? This is with it quantized, this is with it off, all right? So what was happening is that you play it back. It sounded like that. If that's happening to you, make sure that you turn this quantize off. Also, if you have this selection on like a, a cycle in the area and you click on the track, it's only going to select what's in this section here. So for example, if I click on that track, it's gonna select that. So make sure if you want the whole track to not be quantized, you click here. So that way now it's gonna select everything here in that track and make sure that that quantize is off. Now, if you want to quantize certain sections, you can do that. How? Basically click in any black area and then you click on the section you want to be quantized. You can click there, quantize that area, click there, quantize that area. Okay. And that's pretty much it. I hope that this helps some people out. Thanks for watching and see you guys next time. Peace out. If you like this video and like to see more in the future, consider subscribing. Or for more videos, click that button. A thank you. Hasta luego.